Hello, my name is James Rankin and I am going to make a video today showing you how you can um, shave a considerable amount from your Windows 10 first logon times. Now, I've done a Windows 10 deployment. I'm just waiting for a couple of Windows 10 machines to uh, to boot up here. One of them appears to be behaving rather oddly. Um, we've done a Windows 10 deployment and we have a lot of PCs in open access areas. Now, that essentially means that um, because we could have up to nine, ten thousand 10,000 users logging onto the same machine that we can't keep cached copies of all those profiles much as um, we'd like to. So essentially every time a user logs on, if they're logging on for the first time in a few days, I think we've got the roaming, pro uh, roaming profiles, local profiles set to delete after about four days so that we don't get a huge amount of uh, profiles backed up on there. So essentially, unless you're logging on within the same four days as you last logged on to one of these open access machines, you quite possibly are going to be effectively a first log on onto that machine. So what we find is one of the, the major complaints that we've had is that people are complaining about the, the very long log on time. They think it's endemic of the actual system when really it's just... Um, it's just because they're logging onto that machine for the first time and Windows 10 does quite a lot of stuff when you're logging on for the first time. So just while I'm waiting for these two machines to boot themselves back up, these machines to here um, are Windows 10 15, 11 version, which means they've got the November update on, they're fully patched. Um, I've beefed them up slightly, given them uh, 4 gig of RAM and 2 uh, virtual CPUs. All else we've got running in the background are obviously the domain controllers. If we look at the domain controller over here and the workstations or you, we've just got various bits of uh, kind of ordinary stuff on there. Any one of the custom stuff like Citrix user profile manager settings, um, edge settings, FS logic settings, um, what I did the other day about the saving and import start layout, UEV settings, they're all disabled. So it's just pretty much a bog standard Windows 10 workstation that we've got set up here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab an online stopwatch from somewhere and we're going to time the logons to these machines and hopefully demonstrate a little trick that can show you how to reduce that first logon time quite sizably. Okay, so let's just have a look. Right, so there's no profile on this machine. And we'll start with this one over here. So we're just going to, whoops, where's my online stopwatch going? We're just basically going to log onto this machine as a standard user. And just to show you that this user doesn't have a roaming profile defined, so it's going to create a local profile on this machine. And let's see how long it actually takes for us to log on. And I heard when that happens, this is, <laughs> this is a bug in Windows 10. Something to do with you running it on client side Hyper-V constantly get that error. So false start. Let's try doing that again. Right, so this time we're going to sit there and see how long it takes for this initial first logon. Now, uh, any of you who've probably used Windows 10 will be aware that when you first log on, you get all this really patronizing guff on the screen like we're setting things up for you we're really excited to happy to see you here and all the rest of that rubbish which is uh, one of the things that people will uh, probably disable quite early through a GPO um, this would be the one disable first log on animation set that to zero and it doesn't appear the problem is instead you just get it sat at this preparing windows screen now what's actually happening here compared to uh, older versions of Windows such as Windows 7 is all those modern apps that you get on the machine when you use logs on for the first time they are all basically kind of installed and created and dropped into various parts of the user profile and the registry now each one of these modern apps actually has a kind of a little database that sits behind it so each one of these apps has to go off and create its own database and set up all of its stuff so it's like a almost a, a very long extended first time installation which, you know, might be fair enough for the first time he was logged on if it never, ever happens again. 
but the problem we've got with users in open access areas is that invariably they are logging on for what is effectively the first time and it really really becomes frustrating for them to the extreme and we've had lots and lots of stuff in through our feedback widget that we use to, to sort of gauge user reaction to things that just says very slow to start up stroke log on and that's what's happening here it's doing all that stuff in the background and the user just gets frustrated by the very long wait as you can see we're up to almost two minutes already and it's still not showing no signs of having actually logged on so let's just let it keep on going so we're up to two minutes now as I said these are virtual machines just running on sort of high-end workstation so I wouldn't expect it to see it as long as this on a, a, a dedicated workstation but again percentage wise the difference between what you get at the first logon and what you can hopefully say with this little sort of uh, trick we're about to, to resurrect as it were will be quite marked so hopefully we should get at least a maybe 60 70 percent decrease in the amount of time it takes for the user to log on so we're past two and a half minutes now so it's one of the frustrating things about Windows 10 that this sort of thing in comparison with how Windows 7 was better I mean I'm not going to count Windows 8.1 in this because 8.1 came along a lot of people avoided it when you compare Windows 7 first logon times to Windows 10 I mean does it really feel like an upgrade not from the user perspective now 8.1 did do it take a little bit longer it was kind of almost halfway house it was still longer than Windows 7 but no one knows Mark so we're past three minutes now this is an incredibly large first log on time it's really kind of not acceptable at all I would say for a user I have seen it go as long as four minutes I wonder if we're going to break our record here up to three and a half yep definitely going for the record now trying for a, a full four minute log on is it going to get there so if you're actually here you can hear that the, the disc sort of churning away so it is clearly very active whatever it's doing said in a few there we go we're past four minutes yeah windows um, 10 does perform a lot better over an ssd obviously but then again so would windows 7 so it's almost a a moot point really to to kind of say oh yeah just use an ssd some fast storage and everything will be great if it reaches five minutes i'm going to be well impressed because we well there we go we've logged on we've logged on first log on four minutes 28 seconds isn't that such a really glorious user experience we're having there and there you go um, you notice these um, sort of pending bits here are applications that still haven't modern apps that still haven't loaded successfully for whatever reason do say that quite a lot but they will pop up and populate themselves soon so it's clearly still doing some stuff off in the background but there we go everything appears to be working as we'd have expected but yep four minute 28 second log on really just isn't acceptable for a, a you know even if it's just the once really I think it's still pretty much unacceptable so as I say I'm just checking occasionally that um, search seems to break on here as well but it appears to be working quite fine so let's log this user out now now obviously next time that user is to log on the if there's a local profile on the machine then the logon will be quite quick but if you're in a roaming environment or if um, you know you've got open access machines like we have then what you're going to see basically is um, a lot of frustrated users so let's just log on as an admin user and we will actually remove the profile from here hopefully the admin logon oh no I just reverted to a checkpoint so the admin logon might actually take quite a long time as well anyway while that's loading up what I'm going to just quickly discuss is the kind of trick that we're going to use and um, it's something that possibly some of you might remember from kind of Windows 2000 2003 days is that you could create essentially a, a, a sort of template default user profile 
and pop it in the net logon share and if you called it default user when a user logged on for the first time if it was in a domain environment it would see the default user folder in the net logon share and it would use that as the template for um for the for the local profile that it would actually be um that it would create then so um i talked briefly the other day about profile versions for for different versions of the operating system what you need to do is create a, 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 an, an extension a dot v one two three four five or even six that matches the operating system so as you can see here um, in a share here we've got we've created it's another blue pair of um, sort of event we've already created a default user profile so basically in here we've more or less followed the same um, process you would for creating a mandatory profile um, I will be putting a blog post up with some links to how to create a mandatory profile essentially you need to make sure that the ntuser.dat has the right permissions you've removed um, any references to the user that you created the template from um, the app data folder normally we just cut it down to the roaming folder you know you get rid of the local and the local law and things like that you need to make sure the permissions on these files in here are correct that the administrators group has ownership remove any extraneous entries any policies case anything like that anyway i'll put a link into the blog post that's covered that so um didn't mean to click back off there what we're going to do is we're going to take this default user dot v5 where i'm logged onto a domain controller here we're going to copy the folder and we're going to go across to c windows sysvol sysvol domain name scripts which is essentially the um the local copy on this domain controller of the um, of the net logon share so we'll just pop this folder in there that's copied across in there I notice we've got a folder called flag so when we log on to the machine if we look in the user profile and see that folder created we'll know that it is definitely using this default user profile so what we'll do while that's replicating around to uh, all two of my domain controllers is we will quickly delete the cached copy of the local profile that we just created on here so let's go in and remove it. If it ever wants to open up. Okay, there it is. Let's just delete that. Sometimes one of the system services has a bit of a tendency to hang on to copies of profiles for quite some time after you've even logged out, which is a hopefully another bug that they're going to fix and if we get an error here um, I'll quickly show you how to fix that but hopefully we won't get that particular error and it's a system service called the state repository service which actually translates in the services console to the tile data model server service but anyway that hasn't happened there so that's all good okay so no local profile on this machine anymore let me just quickly verify that by looking in the users folder if it ever wants to open up. So you can see the user J Rankin has gone from there. So let's just log back out. And we shall see using the default user dot v5. Now because this is a Windows 10 15 11 10 5 6 8 build whatever it is, we will basically um need a dot v5 default user profile if we were using build 14279 and up which is what the redstone build will be you will need to use a dot v6 the profile version has changed which again as i mentioned the other day in a different video is an indication that potentially there is a whole new operating system under the hood so with all that in mind with our default user dot five dot v5 sorry created let us try and log on and restart our timer and see how long it takes this time hopefully not going to be 4 minutes 28.39 seconds or whatever it was by then so it should be kind of going in and using that as a template so all it will have to do is create the, the kind of um, the start tiles and the the metro more modern apps to get on there well you can with um metro apps you can use the powershell commandlet get app x dash provisioned package 
to actually remove some of those mod naps so that doesn't need to create them but it doesn't appear to make a, a huge difference to the log on time in respect of what we've seen but um, it's possibly something you might want to do because a lot of the stuff like Candy Crush Soda Saga and things like that and you know really isn't stuff that you'd possibly want in an enterprise environment or well, you may you know but I just preferred the good old fashioned solitaire and minesweeper and things like that So again, still taking more than a minute, but as obviously it's up against a 4 minute 20 second. Um, and there you go. See, we are logged on and it's kind of just about finished. Yeah. So 1 minute 21 seconds, just short of 1 minute 22. So if you put that into a 4 minute 28 log on, it's what? I can't be bothered to do the maths on there, but... What that? Three, four minutes. It's at least two thirds faster. It's at least 66% faster logging on there. And um, we should hopefully say that it's got all the same stuff on the start menu. The search works okay. But yeah, a, a dramatic increase, a dramatic decrease rather, in the first log on time there. Obviously, this is a virtual machine. It's um, running on not a particularly high end sort of workstation. It's stored on a spinning disk so we will get a lag there but percentage wise is what we're looking at so we've gone from 4 minute 28 seconds for a user to log on to 1 minute 21 seconds 1 minute 22 so we've streamed 3 minutes off the first log on time just by using that default user dot v5 so there you go um a nice easy sort of little trick for you to uh, improve the uh, performance of your Windows 10 machines if you were in one of these environments where users you know often find themselves going through the the, the first logon process so all you need to do is um, create a, a template user sanitize the profile properly in accordance with you know the way you would normally do a mandatory profile the only difference between what you would do with a mandatory profile and what you do with creating this default user profile is you do not rename the nt user dot dat to nt user dot man it's as simple as that and just pop it in the net log on share wait for it to replicate around and hopefully you should be able to see that level of decrease in log on time so hopefully that's useful to um, some of you out there on the bleeding edge deploying windows 10 thank you very much